Good day, Hot Wheels peeps. Uh, it's been about a week since I've did a video. Um, it's kind of nice today, actually. The sun's out. Um, gonna show you some things that I found today over the weekend. Mail finds, some customs I'm working on, and, and that I also have finished. Um, I'm gonna start off with. Green light stuff. It's, the sun's really messing it up or something. Uh, the green light hits and toes. Here's the the Dodge with the trailer. I bought two of each. I opened up one of these. Um, the truck with the flatbed. I opened up one of these. I'm doing a custom on one of these trucks. I'll try to show it to y'all in a minute. Uh, the Jeep, which I had three Jeeps, but I traded one of them off for, if you can see the back at the top, the Impala with the Airstream. I've seen these at all, almost all the Toys R Us's, straight out of the box. There's six in a case, no Impalas. I don't know why. Maybe they came out in the second set or something because they're just starting to show up on eBay, but not in the stores. I had a friend that opened up a box of the second set that had the Impalas in it, but there were no Jeeps. So I did an even swap. So I've got one coming in the mail from him. Um, if you find the Green Machine Impala, look at eBay, watch your stuff. Because people are going to try to screw you over if you find it. Those are going for 150 bucks on eBay right now. It's, it's expensive. I'm just an honest person. I don't want to like to really see people get screwed over by other people on YouTube. Or people from in the area that just want to do trades for stuff that... It's it's ridiculous. They're just trying to screw people over. And I'm not that way. And I don't, I don't like it. Uh, just a little rant. Uh... Also, don't like people that wanted to, oh, well, I'm not going to tell you what store I got it from because then you'll go there. I already know your stores in the area. Uh, other thing, found this today. 50 years. That's the Mustang. Now I have two of the Mustangs. I have this one and I have the 20, I don't know if it's the 2010 or 2014. I don't remember which one it is. But I have the other one. I have another one. They made three of this and three in the other or something. The Dodge Challengers, the 100th Anniversaries. I have both regular and green light. The green the green machine. I needed both of those. I ain't seen the Charger yet, though. So, I got this and another one. Um, that's all for green lights. Let's move to garage sale finds. Sunday... I normally wouldn't have found these. I don't go in the area. Sunday morning, there was there's this thing now called in the area called Galveston Car Cruise, and a bunch of people get together, and they go to Galveston. They don't drive slow because I found this out. My car was doing 120, and I was weaving in and out. It felt like Fast and the Furious. It was nuts, but that's how they drive. So had to keep up. Um. Anyway, on that side of town, because I had to go like 35 minutes away or something, like the north side of Houston is where they meet, and I had to go over there, and I got there a little early because I wasn't for sure what the area where I was supposed to go, and I thought, well, crap, I'll go to Walmart. So I went to Walmart and nothing, and as I was leaving, I seen a side road that said garage sale, uh, it said die cast stuff, toys, etc., you know, all that crap. So I said, well, crap, I need to go over there. Went over there. They only had two cars, so I don't know why they put die-cast stuff. There wasn't even, even anything else unless someone just got there really, really early. Um, the two I found was the, the 1970, the hood. It's purple, the purple color. This is kind of bent down, but I can fix it. So and it rolls straight, so it'll go with the red one and the blue one that I have. So now I have three of the colors. Uh planning on getting another one in a couple of days from somebody it's all there's hardly no paint left on it i'm not worried about the wheels or anything because i've got i made an engine 
uh, the engine's in the house. I was going to show you real fast, but it's in the house. And I'm going to take this engine out and put the engine in it and turn this into like a rat rod. The other thing I found, I'm a big collector of super vans. I'm trying to get every single one of them. There's only a couple that I'm missing. Are really, really hard to find ones. This was one of them. I have the regular black wall. I didn't have the red line one. The red line one on eBay is usually 25 bucks maybe. It's the paramedic with the red line wheels. It's got some nicks. It's got some scratches on it. Not a lot. It's in really good condition for how old it is. The bottom is still silver. There's no fading on it. So I asked the guy, I because it was his vehicle, and I asked him, I said, what happened to this? You know, why are you getting rid of why they got the chips? And the chips are recent. He said because his wife babysits some kid or something, and he, sh the kid got into the little cabinet and pulled it out and was playing with it on the, on the concrete or something or dropped it or something, and he said he had two of them, so he just kept the other one and got rid of this one. I paid two bucks for it. He said it's scratched up, and that's not worth crap no more. Well, psh yeah, it is. Um, the other thing is, let's see, that was Sunday. Saturday, Saturday no, yesterday. I'm, I'm losing it. Yesterday, it's just stuff you've seen. The Dotsons. I ended up with 10 of them. I got eight from a store in Angleton. While I was passing through there, I stopped. They just put out the dump bin. No supers. No regulars in the whole dump bin. It was a mix between Q and A. So I still have no cool combi super. Um, but I grabbed eight from there. Then I came to Pearland. Target two more. Along with an error card that I don't buy. I don't like error cards too much. Especially when it's just the wheel. The front wheel. See it has no yellow. I mean chrome ring around it. Well, I got to look and said, oh, I'll snag it. And I always turn them over just to check. And this is the first one that's actually been that away. Usually when the wheel on the outside is like this, it was just a mist by accident. The other one on the inside usually has the chrome ring or something. This one, hopefully it'll show. I don't think it will. Maybe. The back has it. The front one has it. So it's both sides. Both wheels are missing it completely and they're the same kind of wheels so it's not like a wheel error it's just they don't have the chrome ring on the front like it's supposed to um the next thing would be down here hold on i went and picked up my book the new book 2000 2013 books a million the only place i've been able to find it i've been looking at other bookstores nothing Went into Books a Million the day I knew the truck shows up. Um, they got 10 of them. When they opened the store at 10 o'clock because it's inside of a mall, I got there around noon. Last one. They said they're not reordering them. So if you watch this and you live in the area, find a Books a Million somewhere else other than Katie Mills Mall because they're not getting them. Next thing. Try to make this short and nice, even though I don't want to. The person on YouTube lives in the area. He lives in Katy. He travels all over the place. And when he posts stuff at certain, from certain stores, other than Walmart or Target, you know, he'll say, oh, you people that are that are subscribed, you guys know where I found them because you watch my Instagram page or, or send me a message and I'll tell you where I found them because he doesn't want the other people living in the area like myself and there's several other people that live here he doesn't want us to know like it's a big secret or something fry's electronics i already know where he was hitting when he mentioned it when he found the texas drive em trucks in the general mills i already knew what he was talking about because i went and left them because i didn't want them anyway i seen these the lady said, oh, I have some cars for you. And I'm like, for me? She's like, oh, wait, you're not the person who called and said they was on their way. You're the wrong person that comes in here all the time. So I knew who it was, so I snagged them all. They're international cards. They're C case they're cards, but they're international. There's There was two of these. 
that I took. There was two vipers, which, okay, these aren't messed up. A buddy of mine that lives in Midland, I think, he found uh, a dump bin already with CK's cars in it. There was 16 vipers. He took all 16 of them. Once he got home, he noticed 10 of the 16, the bottoms were reversed. They were the wrong way. So that may be something to look for. Uh, this is the regular treasure hunt. Rocket fire. I don't like it. I'll probably grab a U.S. carded one, maybe two. And then the rest will be left on the pegs for the next person to find, like a real collector does. Once I get my set for my kids and mine, I leave, I leave the rest. I've been leaving cool combis like crazy. Not the super, still need it. But I've been leaving all the cool combis and everything, except for the Datsuns. I pick up the Datsuns because I have a buddy that will trade for them. So, uh, the other thing that I found, there was one of these. The Bentley, they finally made it again. They made it in white a couple years ago. And it was kind of difficult to find, but I mean, it popped up here and there. Then it disappeared. They never made it again. Now there's a red one. Uh, the Vino is now red. It's not too bad. I kind of like it in red. I didn't like the first ones, white and silver. The red one's kind of nice. Mattel needs to make a black one. Then I'd really like it. Or lime green, like Lamborghini is supposed to be. There was two pedal cars. So I took both the pedal cars. And these things are freaking awesome. I haven't customized one yet. Thinking about putting a Snoopy in here. From a Snoopy thing. You know, the little Snoopy thing. And maybe changing the wheels out. To some real riders. Uh, let's see what else was in here. Um... Oh, the highway, the highway hauler two. There was two of these, and I only picked up one because it's okay. I guess I was just being nice because I know he collects highway haulers, so I said screw it. I'll leave him the highway hauler at least because I just didn't want two of them. I'm not a fan of the highway. I collect highway haulers, but not highway hauler twos. I think they're ugly. But something about this one just struck me for some reason. I don't know what it was, but. I grabbed it. Uh, 13 Copo Camaro. Has the Hot Wheels logo on it. This isn't bad at all. That will probably go on my 8 year old's wall because he collects all the Hot Wheel racing ones with the Hot Wheel logos on it. He hadn't seen it yet and I've had it for a week maybe. Well I picked it up. Friday because I went running everywhere Friday. So I picked up Friday today yeah, a week because today is Thursday. So a week and he ain't even seen it yet uh, 67 Pontiac GTO this blue on this car is freaking awesome. I Like that blue it's blue come on focus in. and in the sunlight holy moly it sparkles I like the blue on that as soon as I can find them in the dump bin I'm gonna buy a couple and Swap the wheels out. That's it. Uh, no super. Of course, international cards, it's hard to find it. A super international cards. I've seen them, but, you know, here and there, like last year, people said, oh, they're not, but I've seen one or two. Um, which, if you look on eBay, they're in, in, in international cards because that's where they came from. It's just the ones that they send over here, the international cards, you're not going to find it. Um... Two of those. I took both of them. One of them. Am I right? Let me see. Yeah, this bottom one, the wheels are kind of bent a little bit. And it looks like it's lowered. See how there's a space? And that one, there's really not no space. The wheel is touching. Um, the Chevelles. I've never cared for the 69 Chevelles since they made it in a regular treasure hunt. Years ago, I grabbed it. All the other ones they've made, I've left. Including, what was it, the golf racing one or whatever. I left it. I didn't want it. This one I like. I like the white with the blue. 
That's nice. There was two of these. And then, I don't know how these were there and he never grabbed them. I don't need them. The only thing is, he should have looked at them because both of them have flat headlights, which means they're the variations. Both of them. It's the Jeeps. They were just hanging there. So I know they'd been there a while because that's not C-Case. Um, okay, let me clear this off real fast. And then I'll get to customs. Soon as I clear this off. Um, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I got full. I'm pre-diabetic. I found out I'm supposed to be watching what I eat. I'm supposed to be changing my eating habits. It's Thanksgiving. I ain't trying to hear that crap. I'm supposed to start exercising and working out, which I don't mind. But I ain't did that yet neither. I'm trying to make sure that I get everything I'm going to eat. Christmas is around the corner, so. Okay, now that I've got those picked up. Uh, the customs I'm working on, I've got two that I've finished. Three that I've finished, I'm sorry. And I've got two that I'm working on so far. The two I've finished, I'm going to grab this so I can show you guys. Hopefully they'll show up. I finished the station wagon. It has the low rider wheels on it. Let me see here. I'll flip it over. I haven't put it completely together yet. It's got the low rider wheels on the front and the back. I still got to put this one together. The front, well, they ain't even showing it. Well, crap. The front and the back. I mean, it's got the low riders on it, the hydraulics. So there's my station wagon, which will end up on eBay. And then the other one, this is the one I like. And it's got, this one's finished. This one's also got the hydraulics on it. This was a green light car, one of the green light cars. And I swapped out the wheels. And I don't... Well, crap. And... Come on, focus. And the interior has also been done. It's blue and white to match the car. There's the... There's the hydraulics on it. This one I'll probably keep. The other ones I'm working on is... I'm trying to do... I'm sure you've seen it. This truck. I'm working on this truck. The only thing is I think I got to cut out the bottom in here because it's not fitting all the way right. And then I'm going to do, move that out of the way. Sorry about that. I'm going to do one of those. I'm trying to get it to fit right. And then I'm going to paint it and stick that on there. Those are the two I'm working on right now. The other thing I finally finished, I've did a few of these before been a while I found a bunch of the smoking the bandit retro entertainment rigs like 12 of them in one store pet boys is where I found them at I'm not gonna not tell anybody 12 of them at one pet boy store I mean I don't know how that happened but they was all there uh, so I figured I haven't made one in a while let's make another one and I still have not kept one. Usually I, when I make the first one, I make two of them and keep one for myself. And I still have not kept one of these trucks yet. There's my Smokey and the Bandit Custom. The tape's kind of crooked. But yeah, I clear coated it before I noticed it. So uh, no big deal. And there's the other side. The back. It also had this one has the cooler thing on it. The refrigerator and it goes for those of you that want to know this is on eBay I already put this on eBay um, it fits whoops wrong way it fits in this it fits in that and then this goes come on over the top tape and then in the box. 
and then it goes in the box. This is this is on eBay. Just type in "Smoking the Bandit Rig Hot Wheels Matchbox Smoking the Bandit Rig." It should pop up. I think there's one day left on it. No one's bid on it, but it's got like 75 watchers, which is about right. The last one, the first I've made. This is number four that I've made. The first one I made went for a hundred and something bucks. They've all been over a hundred bucks. So I feel like this one's gonna jump. I start off at seventy-five dollars, which is what it's gonna cost, which is about what it cost for the trailer that I had to get the case thing, uh, the paint, decals, stuff, all of that crap. That's about what it cost me to make it. So there's that. Um, don't think there's anything else that I need to show. Uh, oh, here's the here's one of the trailers. They came with the Dodge truck. I just seen it sitting up there. It's kind of difficult. But this back, when I got it, I didn't know. The back opens up. And a car. Find a car. Um, maybe this one. Because I got to do some work on the station wagon. Car fits in it perfectly. I think this may fit too. I mean, that's a long Suburban. Well, it don't shut all the way, but that thing fits in it. It's a long trailer. It works. So, that goes up there. Um, making sure I don't see nothing else. I've got stuff behind me. All kinds of stuff. Well, I can... So, I'll, but that'll be in another video. I'm going to try to do a video. And maybe tomorrow... Of all of my display stuff so you guys can see what I have what I collect so you guys will have an idea if we ever do trades you'll get an idea um, with that being said I don't have anything else to show today um, Jason I sent you another email let me know I have I don't have the gold wheels but I can get them if I have to tear a bone shaker apart that has the gold wheels from the garage. And the, if the back wheels fit, I'll give you that. It's not a big deal. It's just a car. Um, but I also need to know other castings you like. So I can get an idea of what I should throw in this box. Because I don't just send the one car that you're asking me to make. Um, so get in touch with me so I can get that started. Alright. Um, talk to you later. Hope you guys have a good day and see you at my next video. Bye-bye.